When you talk about the market specifically, um, it's certainly very much in favor of the dealer and the customer in today's environment. Um, I would say that um, we expect to see some market corrections happen sometime in 2014 and 2015, coming off of what would be considered a, a very good growth year, um, if not sooner, um, especially as we start to see lease inventory re-enter the space. And um, I believe we're looking somewhere around an 18% or greater uh, influx of uh, lease inventory coming to market in 2014. And anytime we start to see that, we start to see some downward pressure on pricing. And for us, as with any cycles, you couple uh, um, that along with a very competitive lending cycle, um, the dealers found themselves in a very unique position. They have a lot of inventory and they have um, customers to boot. And when I talk about the customers, they now have more choices. They have a lot of inventory to shop from, from, from dealerships, and they have a lot of uh, lenders buying a lot deeper. Um, something that when you look at it historically and you compound that buying and, and lending cycle, typically the dealer takes less profit. Um, and one of the things that, especially as the dealers buy deeper um, across the board. So for us, we, we want to make sure that we're conveying and talking to our customers and really under getting them to understand is when you see that aggressive cycle, um, it's very easy to get caught up in speculative uh, uh, inventory management um, and find that um, when, as with any uh, cycle, when that lending pulls back, um, it can be uh, a bad combination. Dealers get stuck with inventory as the prices continue to drop. So we're constantly looking and, and making sure that our customers are very careful about not overbuying early in the season when that market starts to shift backwards.